Terry Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So today, hooray, we're finally going to pin a pin to Pinterest. I know, it feels like we've done so many things before this, but all those things are super important so that when we start to pin things, we actually have some kind of result from it, right? So I'm in this little uh, door stop that I'm going to pin. And I use the pin it button up here. I have to scooch down for a second on Chrome. So I'm going to hit pin it. No fair looking at these other ones. We're going to pick this one. And it's just a normal tall picture from my camera. So I'm going to click on that one. And then I'm going to put this in. So remember, we need to have a bunch of boards that we can put this in. So I could put this in vintage... Uh, I don't know if desk, but library for sure. I put a lot of those in library. I put a lot of them in office decor. I put them in vintage finds. So I'm going to put this in vintage finds. I have a lot of metal things. So that horse um, is a door knocker. I put all my um, door stops in there. So I've trained Pinterest to know that vintage finds a lot of times means metal stuff. Um, if it had been a kitchen item, I could have, um, I have kitchen finds, things like that. But I want to put this into a, into a category that Pinterest knows is a really good fit for this item. Now, you may think, why isn't she putting it into her glamorously vintage shop, right? Like, why wouldn't you put the first pin into your shop board so then if you get shares or all that stuff, it would go back to your shop board. But what happens with our shop boards, especially like a vintage shop board, this may happen for you um, handmade sellers, is your shop can be kind of a mishmash of things, right? I want to put this on the most relevant board that Etsy or that Pinterest knows is there. So I'm going to click save. And I want to see it now. Okay, so we have pinned my amazing little uh, pin, and we want to hit edit this pin because it came in with nothing. Now, sometimes when you pin from Etsy, it kind of fills in some little tiny words or things like that. But what you have to know is that all kinds of stuff can happen when you're pinning from Etsy, right? I was looking, I had to restart this video because I was looking for the share buttons because I thought that would be easier for you to share from uh, Etsy directly without having to use the pin it button. But you can always come in here and change this. Um, there's no sections on my board, my vintage fine board. That would be a section in Pinterest. Now I want to come here and name this vintage railroad doorstop, right? So vintage railroad door stop because that's functionally what it is. I could actually pull this whole um, title. It might only give us a certain number of words, but let's try it. Yep, more than uh, more than the words I can use. So I'm gonna say vintage railroad door stop and treat train door stop. See how I split door stop up? Okay, and then um, I would also like to have locomotive if I can have enough words, enough letters. Yay! Okay, so that fit. Now, we're going to go to my description that I've already, you will have already written this, right? But I'm going to do it real quick. This is not as in-depth about the description. There's a whole video there for you to how to write a description. But I'm going to real quick go to Pinterest. And I'm going to say, first off, I'm going to say factually what it is. Vintage doorstop, right? And so this could be for you, it could be gold necklace. It could be um, handmade soap. It could be whatever you're selling. So I have vintage doorstop. I have antiques. So over here, I want to do and these kinds of antiques are my favorite. Okay? Antiques. Because it didn't say antique, I would have said antique, 
but Pinterest says it's antiqued. So we have Etsy products. So boop, boop. I need to remember to put that in there because people do search for Etsy products. Uh, floral flower paint chippy. So I just know this. This is um, the chippy paint on this one is amazing. Okay, and I'm going to add chippy red paint. Any kind of um, adjectives you can use are always good. eBay originals, originals. Ooh, originals means they're looking for real ones. And I feel like um, mine's an original. So there's not tons here for this. So now I'm going to go to railroad, right? Because it's railroad. Railroad collectibles. Let's see if we can get any more things. I don't want railroad crossing collectibles. I want railroad collectibles. There we go, railroad collectibles. Okay, so this is what it is. Um, classic trains, ooh, trains. Uh, railroad collectibles, sorry. Classic trains. What else do we got over here? Antique Railroad. I, I have locomotive, but I think I'd like to get my locomotive back there. Um, gifts for train lovers. Locomotive. Fun. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Fun Etsy products. Lost my own. Fun Etsy products to give as gifts for train lovers. Sweet. Okay. Like I said, very, very brief. I would do more research, but I want to show you how to make a pin. I am going to say railroad, right? Because we want just like a really broad one and um, antique. And we got to see if the antique railroad. No. Okay, so sometimes it will, oops, sorry about that. Sometimes it will pop it up with suggestions, but it's not today. Vintage Railroad. Okay, how about locomotive? Okay, in the hashtags. So then we're going to say save. Perfect. So now you'll see it goes to Etsy, it goes right to that piece, right? It's got keywords, it's got tags, it's on the right board. We've got a pretty picture that people are going to want to save. Um, awesome. This is just what I wanted it to be. I'm just refreshing it. See now... It is the reason why it wasn't pulling the title in at first because look how it got everything in there. It's pulling this part of a rich pin from Etsy. It will do it from eBay, it will do it, it'll pull your pin in. And then I actually went and typed this description. And so when somebody's doing a search on Pinterest for this kind of item, they'll be able to find it. Also, if somebody is a locomotive person, they're going to get to see this. They're going to show it to a certain number of people first. If people like to buy antiques or vintage, this is what's going to be shown. So that is the very simplest way to upload a pin to Pinterest. So today I want you to pin one of your products to the very best board that you have. Okay. 
you like this video, make sure to click the thumbs up. And if you like videos like this about creativity, selling um, on e-commerce, Pinterest, anything, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.